Bonhams are delighted to present a truly global post-war and contemporary art sale on March the 7th here in London. Leaving the sale, we have one of the missing link paintings from the world-renowned Yayoi Kusama, executed in 1958, which was her first year in New York. This canvas board is an ethereal, beautiful meditation on a lot of the practices that have been developing in art history in Europe prior to her arrival. She gifted it to Sir Herbert Reed, who was co-founder of the Institute of Contemporary Arts in London and a legendary critic, and it's remained in his family's collection ever since. It's rather charmingly signed Yayoi 58, and then beautifully done on the back as well, indicated as being called A.A. Point A point. Elsewhere in the sale, we focus on the School of London, so-called by the great artist R.B. Kitai, uh, and it included figures such as Frank Auerbach, Leon Kossoff and David Hockney, all of whom feature in the sale. Reclining Head of EOW, number two from 1969, is a perfect painting. Why? Because the condition is miraculously good. It's a wonderful example of his built-up, almost sculptural use of oil. It's of his favourite sitter, Estelle Olive West, his former landlady and lover for a long period of his early life. It was in his great friend and fellow London School member, Lucien Freud's personal collection. And it comes to market absolutely fresh. It's a wonderful painting and a great opportunity. Leon Kossoff's Nude on a Red Bed number three is without doubt one of the most important works by the artists ever to appear at auction. The quality of the execution is sublime. The depth of the oil and the integrity with which he's manipulated it is nothing short of spectacular. Again, optical art and kinetic art are movements that we've focused on very heavily over the past few seasons here in London, New York and of course in Los Angeles. One of the great pioneers of this movement, Jesus Rafael Soto, the Venezuelan artist, is very scarcely to be found at auction. This wonderful example from 1969 showcases the best elements of the artist's work, combining the visual effects with a really competent composition. Finally, we come to Banksy, and this the artist's most important image. In fact, it was recently voted the UK's favorite image. It has such genuine reach and is absolutely universal. There's almost a melancholy in the girl's face as she allows the balloon to just drift away from her. This is his most sought after image. And the fact that this is the first time that this series has come to market in over six years means that this is genuinely a very exciting opportunity to engage with the artist's best work.